Hello and welcome to a video by me, Joke94, as I continue my let's play of Realm Total War, the Julii short campaign. Last time we left off, we, um, there we go. Sorry, Dixto has displayed a warning for a second, I don't know why, but whatever. Last time we left off, we uh, forced out the campaign, and we took Coralis, Segesta, and Patavium, so we now are at war with Carthage and the Gauls. Of course, the goals are our target. We have to hold 15 promises and destroy the goal. This shouldn't be too hard to do. Military ranking, we are catching up pretty heavily now. And once my second army is complete, which of course we now can afford thanks to the conquest of uh, Patavium or whatever you call it, we'll be able to exceed them and basically whoop their ass. And they do have. That's a bit wrong, isn't it? I can have it in between 3 and 4, that's like 3.8. It won't include the... Will it like include the, when did I take Patavium? Because I've got 5, so I should be here. Well, that's completely wrong. We've got no money though, so as we take... Because we've got better shoots than them. We'll easily lose less men than they do. And they won't be able to replenish them as well either, so... It's a world that we can win quite easily. Yeah, a Juliet short campaign should be a relatively straightforward uh, campaign. There's not a lot to it, to be fair. It's probably the easiest one you can do. The Bruti I, I bring a bit slow at the minute. So let's keep it out. But the Bruti I especially will speed up once they get going, they don't stop. They're like a freight train. But is there anything I can do? You can't recruit Astarte, and everything's building. No, you're not building. Build a trader, why not? Does that increase growth anyway? It does. We need that. You're not recruiting. Why are you not recruiting? You went to be recruiting. Train a starty. I mean, what you can do is train peasants and just disband them as a guest or Corralis and they'll expand the population from there. You're basically taking that population from here. Because as you train, it'll take out population. So look, it's, it's 4267. It's 4187 now. So if you just train, 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 and lots of, lots of troops, you're just going to end up with no population left. I think Medieval Tudor totally changed it though. Where's my spy anyway? It's in Patavium, isn't it? At your service. Go into Medeonium. There we go. That was, I think that's the first thing he's done, that wasn't a 100% chance. And keep going. The diplomat couldn't move because he was bowed down, so... I don't care about the brutality. Yeah. The Macedons mobilising their forces. Who knows what they're playing at? What, what are the girls going to do? Nothing. What a surprise. They got no guts. Imperator. Imperator. Attack! Victory! They will retreat, Orders. unsurprisingly. Oh, if I can get back. Victory! I can, just about. Move out. Oh, they're at full health, are they? Yeah. Yeah, they must be. We're building a militia back so we can tra we train them. Do you have anybody in here? You do, and so do you. We've got any good commanders here? Let's have a look. We've got Manius Julius, who is shite. We've got Lucius Julius, who is good, but he's a good manager, so we should probably manage stuff. And we've got Amulius Julius, who is really good, really, really, really good. So he's a leader. <laughs> Simple. The British are here, Noble and they are at war with the Germans. I shall speak with them. Alliance well. trader rights. Map information for map information. And give me a thousand. There we go. So that'll protect both uh, flanks while we're attacking Gaul. Without delay. Of course, the Germans must be at war with the British. So 
Let's have a look. They are. When you play as the British, the Germans like to attack you, but you can usually beat them in one-on-one -on -one fights. It's kind of weird. Yes, we're allies. They must have got a ceasefire with the Skippy but then, because we're all at war with them, Skippy just declared war again. If I use these guys to fill these guys up, it'll make retraining easier. And that'd be what, 21? No, 27. No, it'd be 17. No, yeah, 17. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna have to be training at one. No more experience as well, because it's the veterans. That's still in there. I think that's it. You know, I don't mind waiting a turn to siege it, so spy come down, see what else they've got. See if there's anything in, in the, uh, on the way. Other than that, keep going. The Brutai Army of Diplomats is on the way. Let's have a look here. Our red team has paid roads. Actually, how much money are we making? 1,400, right, okay. Anything I want urgently? Practice range. But archers, so Gesta as a trader, you can't even build anything. And Corral is, is in the same boat. I'm just waiting for them to grow. But while taxing the hell out of them. I, mean, I can lower my tax now. But that'll cost me money, and I like money more than growth. <laughs> Trying a couple of town watch, for public order's sake. Who are you? Just a family member. Oh, no one cares about you. Awaiting your command. I shall Trade rights for map information. Okay, okay, just, 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 just trade rights then. Because we're good allies to the uh, to the British. <laughs> we're not. Once. It's more of a just, it's more of a, there's, there's no non English packs in this game, I blame that. Yes, master. So that's Rebel. Moving. Out of moves, sir. I mean we attacked the goals extremely early. This might the might not have I don't know where the main troop is. Might be over here. Where's the capital? Is that it? Yeah, it'll be over here. It's one of the main forces, just hold up in the capital. Usually anyway. My spies moved, diplomats moved. Made a profit. We'll start getting this army out. Where are you? Is it you? Yeah, you're age 20. General! Sir! General! Sir! Move out! General! General! There we go. So uh, then we've got two armies in the field, and that should make things a lot quicker. Uh, keep going. I mean, we could just try and take some rebel settlements, but let all the factions go after them, waste their troops, and we can just come in for the kill. Especially if it's Gaul. This early, where the Gaul's army is going to be near the capital, they're probably going to go for that before me, so. They'll lose troops going after rebels, and I'll just uh, take them out afterwards. Yes, master. 100%. For clues. Nothing great there. What's in here? Secrecy is assured. Out of moves. Obviously they got this one here, which is going to be awkward to get to, but... Because Spain might not, want, might not want us to go in through their lands. Tough if that's the case. And we train. Because you've built it now. Yeah, you built it. That's profits now. Still... At a thousand, so... We're doing alright. General! This time it's coming along pretty nicely. There's to build some town watch, and we can go after uh, Medellonium. 
which has quite a few troops in it for this stage, stage of the game. That has a practice range as well, but we only get Velites. So build some stables. In fact, after that. Before you build a town watch, build some cavalry. It'll take a few turns for this to be ready, then these can come down. Yeah, did it do? But have you must town watch already? Oh! Oh, nice. We've already started. <laughs> a diplomat. Come down here. So we'll go to Daisy Day because they might get close to us for trade rights. In fact, I think we've bored them. I think this bit here is Daisy, yeah, it is. We might, we might be able to get some trade here. You get building rows, That's, that would be my next goal. I'm going to be sorting all this stuff out. Get rid of the culture penalty. Because it's still pretty high at 45%. Although we can tax the hell out of them. It's going to grow heavily anyway because it's, it's, it's a large settlement. It's already been upgraded before I, ex I exterminated them all. So that'll help, that'll help with a few hundred. And everywhere, everywhere apart from Aruminium, which is our... That's not, that's not even our capital. Weird. Why is that making minus 147? Shouldn't this make? This has got more. This must. This must have more trade. Due to the. Uh, taxes. Yeah, settlement size. But yeah, two thousand one hundred thirty-one. Is it same here? Two thousand three hundred ninety-three. Oh, this this gets all oh, this gets more. This gets trade. This is not getting trade because we don't have any. Uh, we have a pot. It, it is getting trade. No, a lot though. Yeah, I wonder if this game land based trades better. I'm not sure. I know in like newer Total Wars, it's so especially Shogun Two, you want sea trade, but. Who cares? I'm making a decent amount of money anyway. I'm making what, a thousand? Yeah, a thousand four hundred ish. Something like that. And the spy moved. What is the spy's name? He has moved. Decius Curtius. And the diplomat's name is Sextus Antio. Right, let's keep going. That army is ready now because it'll have retrained the five uh, Stati. And if the Gauls besiege it. I can just turn back. Well, I don't know. Where, I don't know where the army went. Like you know, this one over here. Am I going for rebels? Do -do -do. Right. If I, if I do that, the god is fine, and we can besiege it. Besieging settlement, sir. Settlement under siege, siege sir. sir. We have no officers yet, because the Senate. Oh, the girls have been making moves. In response to our alliance with the British, the Gauls get an alliance with the Germans. You're Interesting. Right. Not a bad move, to be fair. Well played, Gaul. Ah, here's Dacia. Yeah, I should to get trade with these guys. 5,001, we're making 800 per turn. We're getting pretty close to our army limit again. Although, to be fair, once we take Mediolian. Mediol oh my god, some of these names. Made it all I name. I should rename these. I should can't rename them. I think. Or maybe not. You can in Rome too. Uh, many of them do, I mean. I'm sure you can. Uh, let's have a look. Just rose in Batavium. Yeah. You know what? Get rid of the. Part, we'll place everything with Roman buildings. Go watch out for the British, uh, they've got a big army here. Oh, here's the factional. Oh, he's a family member. That's not a bad general for a yes, basic member. Let's have a look. No more moves, sir. 
And enough to match. If the British take M Massilia, that's going to be a problem. The British are going down. They normally go that way, I think. In fact, the British thought the tank can really take control of this area, even like stopping the Julii in AI. I, I don't think that happened in my let's play, though. I think, I think Julii took everything but Britain. In the end, anyway. And Brutally, I just took everything before I killed them. <laughs> Diplomat, you can't move. No, right, no, okay. no, Everything building that can build, you aren't building troops. Which was spot of that. We'll build one more, get the cavalry in, and then just move out with them. Yeah, that'll work. I don't need four stacks because my inventory, I just better than barbarians. You know, I've got, I matched the numbers as it is last time anyway. Keep going. I mean, I should probably take that east settlement. Oh! A bold move. They have gone to the aid of Mediolanium. Medi Medi I probably just butchered that name, but I don't care, it's a stupid name. Captain Am Ambiorix is going to help Bellinus with two warbounds and barbarian cavalry. And of course, if we beat them, Bellinus has no escape. All his men, including himself, will be chopped down to bits. Our Captain Amb Ambiorix can escape. And we outnumber them. About what? 10 to 6? Or. 3 to 1? 2 to 1, 3 to 1? Or 2 to 5? I don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah, but it's 3 to 5. In fact, you know what? Screw it. Calculate. 388. Plus 297 is 685. 1093 take away 685. Well, divided. 1.5. Okay, 1.5 to 1. But of course, I'm in a better, so real, this should be an easy win. But it is less than 3 to 1 in the odds to resolve, so we'll probably end up losing, like always. So we're going to have to fight. <laughs>